Kingdom Hearts has two factors that make the combat system work so well. The stagger effect, where when you hit someone they stagger period, and the revenge value system where depending on how many times you attack, it determines how they retaliate. They have what is known as retaliation moves, techniques to counteract what you throw at them. So if you spam, the enemy will build up enough retaliation and retaliate back at you. It's a very complex system of action RPG design you won't see in any other action RPG. That's what makes it unique, the elaborate boss encounters and techniques. This is why you can't spam in Kingdom Hearts. You have to use abilities, magic, drive forms, and choices. That's the thing about KH2's combat system. They have a boatload of choice, and it's all up to you how to utilize these choices to your advantage. And it's a lot of choices, some of the most organized action RPG design ever made. When fighting in games like DDD or BBS, the combat is floaty and the enemies stagger at random. There is no retaliation system or revenge value, so they retaliate at random, making them unfairly unpredictable. This is why the design of Kingdom Hearts action RPG elements are so important that coming to KH3 you can tell they kept this in mind, because I have tested it for years and the stagger isn't perfect but it's incredible, and the revenge value is there and it's really good. KH3 is overall underrated, but that's another topic. So as I was saying, the revenge value system balances out the gameplay in boss fights big time. It's because of the stagger effect and the desperation moves. The thing about KH2's combat system is that every time you hit, each hit builds the enemy's desperation move. Even the simplest of enemies has desperation. The more you hit, this builds up in every enemy and boss. Then they immediately retaliate, thus balancing the combat system and preventing spam. This crawls the accusation from IGN's pitiful review that, oh, the game is spammy, all wrong. This is why that review is so flawed. They immediately regulate upon hits, thus preventing the player from being able to spam hits. You have to plan carefully each move, every attack counts, and you have to play smart or the enemy will eventually retaliate. When you play Kingdom Hearts, whether you're playing the first Kingdom Hearts or its sequel, the revenge value system is there. It still has an effect on the player. In the first game, revenge value worked a little bit different. Same with the combat. The combat was more about the timing of your attacks and hits, so you had to time them well. In the second game, the speed is increased and there's more attack moves, abilities, and choice. So you had to think faster, use as many tools as possible, which is why it's a good thing it gave you more choice in the third game. Value was almost not implemented if you've ever watched speedrunners like Bizkit47 or Bloody Bizkit. You'll notice they have a firm understanding of the revenge value system, that there's only a certain amount of times you can attack before an enemy will react to you. In Kingdom Hearts 3, this was almost non-existent. In the E3 trailer of KH3, they didn't seem to have a stagger effect, much like BBS and DDD. This was worrying for the fans as well. We awaited for the combat system to be as fine-tuned as Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, what is the stagger effect and why is it important? Every time you hit an enemy in KH1 or 2, they stagger, creating a balance. So they can't just mindlessly attack you, it's more fair. Fast forward to the spin-offs, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep or DDD, and this is non-existent. They stagger at random, so they could attack you out of nowhere and you won't be able to stop them. It's unfair and broken. This is why the revenge value system and stagger effect is so important. Look at Roxas. When Sora fights Roxas, every moment counts. Every attack matters. Every second counts. You have to use all your utensils to beat them. You attack too much, revenge value kicks in, and he retaliates. You attack him just enough, he'll stagger, giving you enough time to attack him. This is how deep they thought when it comes to the combat system. The stagger effect and revenge value in Kingdom Hearts 3, after Biscuit 47 speedrunners and KH Pro spoke out about the worrying trailers of KH3 not having this system in place, much like DDD and Birth by Sleep. Hell, even 358 Days and Recoded had this, which is why I prefer those combat systems over DDD and Birth by Sleep. People have debated me on this, however, I tested it, it's there, and it is not present in BBS or DDD or even 0.8. When Speedrunner spoke out about this, Square Enix implemented the revenge value system and stagger effect in KH3. However, it does work the same. There are still times when you attack an enemy and they will not stagger. Because the combos are so flashy and long, it can put Sora in danger, forcing you to have to be smarter about your attacks. Now, KH3's combat is incredible. However, the revenge value and stagger effect is much better in KH1 and 2 and doesn't work the same in KH3. And at one point, it was non-existent in KH3. It still feels off and has moments where it literally doesn't even work. 
they won't stagger when you hit sometimes, and revenge value becomes unpredictable. Unlike the originals, where it worked extremely well and was extremely balanced, it's still uncertain and a little unpredictable in Cage 3. That's in balance and a little unfair. Cage 2 had this down on the luminous engine, and Cage 1 had this down as well. It was the first of many others. The combat system of Kingdom Hearts 2 is a masterpiece of action RPG design. The stagger effect and revenge value system is unique, and no other game has this system implemented and no other game has this for fine combat. That's what makes Kingdom Hearts unique. This is a level of passion and effort they put into the combat system. This is what I'm laying down. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 still reign supreme because of the unique stagger effect in the bold revenge value system that you will not find in any other action RPG. This is what separates Kingdom Hearts. It disappeared for years in many spin-offs, then reappeared after Speedrunner spoke out about this for KH3. However, KH3 is not as refined or as balanced. There are times when the stagger doesn't work, the revenge value doesn't always kick in right, and the combos are so long that it puts Sora in danger during fights, so there's huge issues there. Square fixed a few, but not all the way. They didn't change the fundamentals of the combat. It was already made that way, so the originals still have a huge edge that KH3 doesn't necessarily have. The spin-offs don't have this at all. They definitely don't, but Cage 1 and Cage 2 do. This is what makes the combat system of Kingdom Hearts special, and this is what I'm laying down. If you made it this far, thank you for watching.